Today, it's Texas Tech and TCU. And now, with all the pregame analysis from the best, this is KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff, sponsored by Terry County Tractor. Welcome back to Countdown to Kickoff. It is time for board games, and we will start. We've been talking about the running game for TCU quite a bit during Countdown to Kickoff. Texas Tech might have an opportunity to run the football here. The two teams average about 340 yards rushing combined. Will they combine to go over 350 in this contest, Phil? You know, uh, TCU's really gotten gashed in their last couple games against SMU and Texas. So with that being said, I'm going to go <laughs> under. I think that they switch it up a little bit, really focus in on stopping the run. And meanwhile, I mentioned Zach Evans just not getting a lot of touches. If that continues, it might be hard for those teams to combine a crack 350. I think both teams should be able to run the football in this one, right? Your boy from SMU helped them rush for over 300. They had 200-yard rushers in that game, over 350 yards by themselves. Uh, B. John Robinson able to run, obviously, on Texas Tech and them. I think that uh, the two teams will go over that 350. All right. Uh, we talk about Max Duggan as well. We don't talk about him throwing the football. He only averages about 225 passing yards a game, keeping in mind that potential injury issues in that Texas Tech secondary. Do you think Duggan goes over 225 in this contest today? And, yeah, you brought up exactly what I was going to reference, those injuries in the secondary. Uh, Jared Dagey had some success passing against the Red Raiders last week. If the secondary continues to be banged up, I have to see them have a see them having a hard time to stop Max Duggan, and I think he does go over. All right, it was a yes or no, Phil, but that's fine. I'm going to go no. You're totally fine. We, uh, you, you answered the question. I'm going to go no because I think the run game is going to dominate this one. If they can run the football, they're going to run, 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 and run some more. All right, headline time. I was too focused on my analysis. <laughs> no, you're good. I got the. I, I understood your answer. All right, let's see if my pen will actually work for this headline. Uh, probably not. It's running out here. You go ahead and go, unless I beat you. All right. I beat you. I'm going to go for it first. Since everybody likes to talk about the battle for the saddle, I'm just going to go with saddle scores instead of saddle sores. Hopefully there's none of those going out. Okay. On. We, all, we all know Coolio is performing pregame at this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm rip it, riffing off one of his classic songs, Raiders Paradise. We all know Gangster's Paradise. I think the Red Raiders pull this one out. I was going to go something Coolio. I'm glad I left that one to you. All right, Phil, we appreciate it. Stick around. We still have what to watch for. Right now, though, it's the slate of games that you will watch right here on KMAC today and like it. Triple header of action starting right after we are done with OU and Texas from the Cotton Bowl. After that, uh, you don't have to watch this one. Boise State looking to upset 10th ranked BYU, a future Big 12 team there in Provo, Utah. And in primetime, 9th ranked Michigan. Looks to remain unbeaten, right, against Nebraska. Takes on Scott Frost's Cornhuskers. Have all that action for you right here on KMAC. Meanwhile, stick around. As I mentioned, Phil and I are back to give you what to watch for after the break. But first, let's shake, take a look at the unseasonably warm weather we will have at Jones Stadium later tonight. Right, Ron? Okay, for sure. A hot kickoff time. Temperature is 6. Well, during the tailgating period, which can start as early as 11 o'clock or even earlier for some, but by the afternoon, say from 3 to 6, the temperatures are going to move into the mid-90s. By kickoff, about 93 degrees here at that 6 o'clock hour. Make sure you stay hydrated. Keep water, H2O, along with whatever adult beverages you may be drinking, or you might just decide to have a Diet Coke. 85 degrees by halftime, still going to be warm. You know how the Jones is. It's encompassed, so it's going to be warm, but the wind's going to be a little breezy. That will help to make, again, after the game, a very pleasant evening. Enjoy this big game with Texas Tech and TCU for homecoming. Wreck them. 